We stay in North London now for our next visit. And this is the fantastic loft of Vic Shaw. Good morning Vic. Morning Keith. Nice to see you. Welcome to North London. Yeah, it's my first time over here mate, with a camera anyway. Oh, <laughs> how, how long have you been in the sport? Oh, coming up 20 years now. Yeah, what was the circumstances of starting up? Uh, I raced with my dad when I was a teenager and then when I had a family and worked hard and then when I had a little bit of time I thought it's time to get back in the sport. Yeah, what's one or two of your best performances? Uh, Probably the best performance was when I got the only bird on the day out of 500 miles. Three or four thousand pigeons, 500 miles. Yeah. So what's that? Is that London North Road Combine? That's the London North Road Combine, yeah. Yeah. How about Federation? Uh, I've topped the Fed County, mainly the North London, over 35 times yeah, now. Yeah, brilliant. And you've topped the Combine? I've topped the Combine three times, I've been second twice. Yeah, brilliant performance, mate. What sort of racing do you like? Short distance or long distance? Uh, Short to start with, when the season, but once yeah. the season gets going, I really do enjoy it from the 200 mile onwards. Yeah. Uh, 500 miles I find a bit different. Yeah. I'll, I'll quite enjoy it after 200. This is a nice pigeon, Vic. What's this one? That's Tom Thumb. Yeah, and what's he won? He's been first London North Road Combine Berwick, 8,000 plus pigeons. He's won the North London Fed six times, normally flying against 2,000 plus pigeons. And he's won the club nine times. Yeah, some pigeon this one, mate. What family is he? He comes from the St Jansons I bought from Len Hopton of Wolverhampton. And they're Gerard Bill Jansons from Belgium. Yeah, and what systems he raced on? He's raced on the Widward. Yeah, exceptional pigeon this, mate. So what sort of distance does he like racing? I'll be honest, uh, up to 250 miles. Yeah. True champion this, mate. Must be one of the best pigeons in London, this. I think so at the moment, yes. What system do you race your old birds on, then, Vic? Uh, I race the basic Widward system for the cock birds. Yeah, how many cocks you got? I start off with 28 boxes, I try to fill them all, uh, normally lose a few early on. Yeah, you also race a few hens, do you? Last three years I race uh, 18 to 20 hens, again, as pure widowed hens. The cocks yeah. that they're paired to don't race. No. So when do you pair these pigeons up? Uh, normally when I come home from Blackpool, so that would be round about the third week in January. Yeah, do you break down? I do, it's a very basic system, I break down. Show the hens? Yes, always. I've tried not showing hens, but i found over the last couple of years by showing the hens on Friday. Yeah, they're, they're better. Performances. Yeah. How about on Saturday? How long do you get the hen for? Uh, depends how busy I am. We're racing two clubs. Uh, I like around about half hour to an hour. Yeah. How about training them? Uh, I, I train up to the first week of racing and yeah. then no more. So it's pretty basic. Yeah. How do you manage your cocks and hens in, you know, exercising them? Uh, the cocks, if they're not exercising properly I do flag them uh, I can only get them out once a day yeah where I do night work so they go out in the morning and if they're not exercising they are flagged and I, I, for between an hour and a, uh, one and a half hours yeah and when the hens go out after that yeah the hens go out around about midday same applies this is a quality hen Vic what's this one that's Bodicea she was first London North Road Combine, only pigeon on the day out of 4,000 pigeons, 500 miles. Yeah, where was that from? What race point? Thurzo. Yeah. And what system was this? On Woodward? No, no. She, she'd been Woodward early on and then repaired for Stonehaven and then Thurzo. Yeah. Beautiful pigeon. What family is she? She's three quarter Jansen with a bit of Kempanier and a little bit of bush art in her. Yeah. Beautiful hen. Lovely type, isn't she? She's a nice pudding. She's got the bloodlines that have got combine positions right through them. This is Vic's main Widowood loft. It's 24 foot long, two sections, and all trapping is through Sputniks and open doors. This loft is Vic's stock loft and young bird loft. His wife calls this the railway carriage. And up in the top corner, the Petron loft is for his widowed ends.
This is the sea inside one of Vic's widowed sections and this double section contains 16 cots. Another quality pigeon Vic, what's this one? Yeah, he done very well this year. He was second London North Road Combine. 3,000 plus pigeons. There was only two on the day and unfortunately there was one better than him this, yeah. this time. He's got a nice frill front, I see. Yeah, that's all I call him. I just call him the frill. Yeah, what do we call, what family is he? He's a Wilder's Wish. Yeah, is he from Good Lines? He is. His father's bred first London North Road Combine Thurzo. Uh, and that one's second London North yeah, Road Combine Thurzo. Not a big pigeon, is he? Very small. He's even yeah. smaller than Tom Thumb. What families of pigeons do you keep them, Vic? For the short distance, I'm reasonably successful with the uh, Hopton based Jansen pigeons, and I've got a few Wilders Mish that are quite successful too. Yeah. How many pairs of stock birds do you keep? This varies. Um, I've culled some of the older pigeons this year, but I've got, I normally carry about eight pair. Yeah. And what are the pigeons you brought in? I've bought in some this year, yeah. I've got, I've got a couple of, I've got three pair of my old family and I've got five pair of Wilders Mish I've bought in this year. Yeah. When you're bringing pigeons in, what do you look for? Performances, just sheer performances. And I like, I don't normally go to studs. I normally buy from a racing loft. Yeah. I notice your pigeons are not big. Uh, some of the Jansons are quite large, but I do find uh, a tendency that now as the years are going on, the harder I'm racing my pigeons, the smaller the pigeons, I seem to lose the larger ones. Yeah, so like a bit nifty. <laughs> That's right, and I think when you start pushing them through to 500 miles, and if you get some hard days, you seem to find the smaller ones seem to get there. Yeah, when do you pay stock birds up? Same time as the widowers, uh, third week in January. Yeah. This is a sea inside Vic stock loft. Closed in and the pigeons look very comfortable. What a wonderful cock, Vic. What's this one? That's a Wilders Mish. He's your top stock bird, is he? He is. He was he was bred for me by Brian Mumford uh, and he originate from Tom Sargenson's pigeons from the Midlands. Yeah, and what's he bred you? He's bred me a first London North Road Combine Thurzo, 500 miles, that was 6,600 pigeons. He's bred me second London North Road Combine Thurzo, only two on the day. He's sire of three fed winners and grandsire of fed winners. Brilliant pigeon. Class looking, isn't he? He's a cracking cock, but he's getting old now. How many babies you breed each season then, Vic? I have 60 for myself to race. And how far did you race those? Right through the programme to 250 miles to the combine. Yeah. Are you a hard trainer? I train probably two to three times a week, yeah. Yeah. How about racing them? Have you got a system? Not really. Uh, if they start acting up to one another, I'll just let them be natural and get on with it. Yeah. What do you think of the darkness? I think I'll probably have to go on to darkness within the next couple of years, but I just think there's a price to pay when you interfere with nature that much. Yeah. How about feeding your babies? What do you feed them on? I like to give them a, when I get them working, I like to give them a breakfast, a, a, a light depurative meal for the breakfast and then a high protein feed of an evening. Yeah. Do you like young bird racing? I used to love it, as I'm in it more and more, yeah. not so, I prefer the old birds. More and more educational thing with babies then? Yes, it's getting that way. The fantastic loft of Vic Shaw.